yeah, man, it's so funny. I just posted, I posted the HBO poster on Instagram today. You know, like, hey, I got my HBO special coming out. And it's just so funny how many people are still like, Mafi does stand up from billions. And you're like, all right, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. Like, I've been on one of, because I'm sure there's people that are like, oh, the guy from Undateable does stand ups. And you're like, yeah, dude, what the fuck? How is that? How have you known me from that, but you don't know the other stuff? But that's just what it is. You don't know how people are going to find you. Mm -hmm. And that's also kind of a cool part of this business. Yeah. Because sometimes people find you and you're like, wait, you like me? But that's what I think makes it fun about doing things outside your comfort zone, yeah. which I think sometimes a lot of comedians don't want to do, a lot of people don't want to do, but it's something that I kind of really pride my career on. I enjoy it. Like, um, I talked about it recently. Like, I had someone come up to me after my show in New York, and they were like, there were people who were like, oh, fuck, I know you from right from Kroll's show. Yeah. Like, I had kids who were like 21, 22, who were like, I was watching you in high school yeah. on Kroll's show, and that makes me feel old, but also I'm like, this is great. I love it that there's kids who are now like, I've been waiting to get yeah. old enough to come see you. And then there's a, a lady who was like, I just saw you on the Busy Phillips show and on the Kelly Clarkson show, and you seem nice. <laughs> so like, funny dude it's so funny <laughs> so funny how people are going to find you and also what they've seen you in because like kind of a running joke i always had was uh back when every like a, a car horn would honk in new york i'd always be like hey dan soder mtv2's guy court you know like just kind of joke around about that like hey i just like obscure credits but Guy Code was a show I was on on MTV2, which I only did. I was like a rep you know replacement guy for like two seasons. So I do that show, and it's just kind of like I looked at it as a chance to get a decent paycheck, do a fun show where I'm kind of just riffing about subjects. But you never think. You're like, I did that show back in like 2012 and 2013. I was at, a lot, I was at Bonnaroo hanging out with Ari Shafir, and Pete Davidson was there. And this was 2000. 16 chance the rapper just dropped coloring book and so he's like hanging out at bonner just you know fucking around with one of his friends and pete davidson's like yeah chance is gonna come by and like hang out and i was like oh it's awesome man and uh he comes by and we're all smoking a joint kind of hanging out and um his friend starts looking at me and his friend's like where do i know you man i was like oh, i do stand up you know he's like no nah, man where do i know you and I was like, I'm on billions. He's like, no. Nah. He's like, oh my God. I used to watch you on Guy Code when I was like 16. And you're like, oh shit. And then Chance the Rapper's like, oh shit, you're on Guy Code. Like that kind of thing. And I'm like, <laughs> hey, Chance the Rapper. It's just kind of a weird thing. We're like, you used to watch that as you, you don't realize that there's kids that are teenagers that are watching your shit that in 10 years are going to be like incredible artists. Mm -hmm. I just said that. Like the, the, the way people find you, randomly finding you, is such a cool thing to actually see. Like we got we at, at sometimes at uh at Sirius doing the bonfire with Big J, we'll we'll see people and they'll be like, like Rob Thomas. Mm -hmm. Big J went up to Rob Thomas and was like, "Hey man, just want to say big fan or whatever." And he's like, "Big J," he's like, "I listen to the bonfire." And you're like, "Rob Thomas listens to the bot," you know what I mean? One of those funny things because I think someone played him a clip where we were doing that like. Hear me, oh how I'll make it real. How long you know about it? And we just kept doing that. And someone played him the clip and he's like, that was funny. So he just started listening to the show and you're like, that's fucking cool as shit. Never thought about that. I never thought when that Santana song was everywhere, was I going to be like, I'm going to have a radio show someday that that guy's going to listen to. That's that, just a cool life. That's just a cool ass life. Exactly. It's fine. You never know what's going to happen. Stone Cold Steve Austin was here. He owned the podcast. I went to Ric Flair's birthday party. Crazy. What? How Crazy. you going to live that type of life? Did Stone Cold come here? That's crazy. He's the episode before yours. That's crazy. That's nuts. That is nuts. I mean, did he look around and be like, all right, hell yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, in general. Yeah. I mean, he wasn't He wasn't as impressed. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was like, this is awesome. But he's like, that'd be like if you walked into someone's house and it was just a bunch of action figures of like comics, you know, where you're like, oh, yeah. Oh, you got an old school Dalia. All right. <laughs> you know, you're like, I want that so yeah. bad. Oh, I believe that that's one of the we need to have action figures. We need to have sneakers. We I would love to get like a, a Patton Oswald three pack of like, you know what I mean? Just uh, like different. a rumble pack of like uh, a Kinnison and Dice. <laughs> you just get like the classic comedy beefs, Mencia Rogan. That would be great. I mean, talk to Jax. Comedy, Let's yeah. do it. 
comedy duos. Come on. It's just a lot. Of, it's just, we've got to do it. I do think. it. Let's do comedy action figures. Our in should action we, figures. Should I we like do comedy. Hasbro or Jax? Uh, I like what Mattel's doing. <laughs> That's what I mean, though. Those are the old Hasbros. Yeah, but I like the new ones. Oh, you think we do the new ones? Yeah, the I Legends? Want, yeah, or the old school. I mean, I guess, I see what you're saying. Oh, that's a fun look with the Hasbros. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, man. Like having like, it's like, like having like a, uh, like a Colin Quinn, you know, with like a pointing <laughs> finger. Yeah. Like, shut up, dummy. Or you could bite his fist. I think, yeah, I would like to see Hasbro or... Oh man, like a legends collection, you would come with stuff. Yeah. I'd think about this all the time. Come on, toy makers. Reach out to Ron and I. We are sitting on a gold mine. We are. We we own the rights to all comedians. We've had them sign them over. These idiots are willing to sign anything over. <laughs> <laughs>